Hey Gems, how you doing? This is the Diamond and the Rough. How's your day going today? I am now on four days off. So I've just finished two days, three nights. And just about to hit my, you know, begin my first of my four days off. Uh, it's nearly 8 a.m. and after I record this whip and chat, I am off to bed. And what you're seeing here right now, Treasure Studios are TSA. Um, been working on this for a little while. Um, there's a, I will say you can. There's quite a bit of gapping in this. Um, yeah. And no matter how much I straighten it, it's not fixing it up for me. Anyway, we will keep going. I am using a multi-placer. Um, I was using tweezers, which I, I, I'm working on a square. I do generally like to use tweezers on a square. Um, but I've got quite a few big ones on the go and I just need to basically plow through, which is why I'm using multi-placer on this one. Because there is a color blocking in some areas so I've been multi-placing for the um, color blocking so what have you guys been up to <clears throat> I have just so finished just finished um, my uh, my block um, I will say I did have I worked Wednesday Thursday and then it was Friday, Saturday, Sunday night shift. I didn't do Saturday night shift though. I uh, copped another one of those bloody migraines. So I didn't work on that day. So, hmm. Let's see what happens. So, yeah. So, yeah, I took a, 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 a booked off. That's what they call it a book off. And it's like, yeah, not coming in. Um, okay, no, I'm going back to the tweezers, even the multi place is not good at the moment. Um, what's going on here? I've got to schedule a live for those that were in the resin pour that I did, the live resin pour I did last week. On the Tuesday, I made some cover minders, so they're going to be, I'll be giving away cover minders in the live. Um, what I might do though, I'm not sure. See how we go. Where did that one just go? There it is. Um, <laughs> it's running away from me. Got it. Um, yeah, we'll see how things go. I do plan to give away some cover minders in that in the live coming up. So keep an eye out for that. I do have some cover minders that will be members only. Yeah, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> um, so I don't know what it is, it's my mouse is in the way. Um, so yeah, I've got cover minders done. I've got some that are members only. So a little surprise there for peeps. Um, what I am thinking about, although I'm giving them away, I was contemplating um, possibly asking for something for the shipping uh, uh, US to send cover miners to the US is about 20 Aussie bucks so probably in about 15 US um, in Australia it's only like three dollars the UK is only like five dollars but uh, if I have quite a few people that end up with cover miners in the US uh, it's going to be a little bit pricey, but we'll see how we go. See how I feel when I do the live. Um, you never know how, how I'm going to go. I'm just probably going to go, yeah, no, don't worry about it. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I did. So I will bring them out here. Oops, oops let's see if I can do it. So I made some cover miners in the live, and then after the live, I went and made more. The cover miners I made in the live were these guys, plus this one here. Um, 
and I did do some more afterwards. So there is some that uh, will be members only. I did post to say there were going to be some members only. Um, but yeah, I got busy. These guys here, these four here, eight here, sorry, and plus this guy, they were done previously. Um, I just haven't given them away. It was just that they were Christmas themed ones. And some of those cover minders are actually from the January box, the Sophie and Toffee January box, which um, I haven't, well, I haven't even put out the um, recording of the unboxing of that. Um, and that was actually one that was a, a bit of a, bit of a disappointment. So I keep dodging that one because it's not good. Okay. Um, yeah, so it was a box that I was actually disappointed about. It's one where I looked at all the previews and went, yeah, it's not really my thing. And then it was like, well, no, I'll just get it anyway. And then, uh, yeah, when you watch the uh, unboxing of that, you'll understand why the disappointment. Yeah. Um... Otherwise, there's not much else going on, I don't think. So, craft-wise, what have I got? One of the things that I haven't done is a stock of what I have, what I am working on. Um, so that's something to go through. I want to do a little bit of a recording showing what I have, all my current whips. Not my stash. I don't want to throw my stash because I don't have that big of a stash anyway. But I do have one two three four five six seven i think seven diamond paintings that i'm rolling over so that i've got as a whip so just uh, what i tend to do is i will actually pick up a diamond painting and then i'll do a complete row across which is what i'm doing with this one um, when I've done a row across, I'll go work on another diamond painting, and that's the way I work it. So then I'm changing over from rounds to squares, from purples to blues. So you you just get there and you just change your you change up your colours. So um, yeah, um, got ah got notification from Diamond Moon Shop. I haven't responded back to them yet. It was an email came in while I wasn't well. Um, there's something coming out that I will share with you. I haven't fully read the instructions, what's going on. Um, but what they are doing at the moment is um, if I decide to participate in it, I can give a coupon code. So it's a code that you plug in and you will know at the top how do I explain it? If you log in to, if you go into Diamond Shop via any of the ambassadors or affiliates via their link, you will see, if it's an affiliate, you actually get a bar across the top that shows you that you're, you're on an affiliates link. Um, if you actually click on a link that's not an affiliate, but it's an ambassador, you won't see that. Um, what that means is, so what happens is on computer terminology, uh, cookies, you know, they track you and if you go onto a website via one link, um, that cookie holds on um, so that you could go onto that page, you know, you can close it and go back into it and sometimes it's open for days where it's got that tracking cookie and it recognises where you initially logged in from or got the, got the web page from which means if what like we're all there's so many well not so many but there's quite a few creators out there that are die moon affiliates or ambassadors there's another one and what we find what what's probably happening is someone will click on a link from one of the one of the ambassadors or affiliates and then you'll click on a link from another um, affiliate but because you've already clicked on for one one person you'll actually show that anything that you purchase as an affiliate will go 
under their link even though you may have clicked on it the day before which is where um, as a smaller channel if you've already clicked on a diamond shop link via um, say like Rachel Ray um, if you click on her link to get into diamond shop and then you decide that you're going to go with click on um, try and get it through mine because it's all registered that you've gone through Rachel Ray's it doesn't register as going under my link so um, which is I think well hang on I'm not a hundred percent sure but I think that's the way it works that's the way I think it works but what they're doing now is they're actually giving us a a code if we wish to participate a code so that we can turn around and give you that code and you'll be able to see that you are um, purchasing under a specific another one a specific um, affiliate so for those of you that have been you know going in and purchasing stuff under using my link you may have already been clicked onto a link from another fit of another one of the affiliates and ambassadors and it's gone under their record not under mine um, yeah it's good old technical thing so um, there is a code that we can get that we can give you that all and you'll be able to see who you are actually under so that if you want to support one particular um, affiliate you've just got to make sure that you use that link so yeah I'm going to be sending an email off to Die Moon Shop because there's a few other things that uh, they've got going on one of them is the about me page there is an about me page that I haven't gone and looked at too much detail but where I will be able to add YouTube videos where I've done stuff uh, unboxings and all of that and also completed works um, so yeah there is uh, that that's there but I haven't activated mine yet um, I've just had you know five days of being either at work or unwell so um, yeah that's something that's coming out and I just need to get myself together for it um, yeah um, what else? There's not much else. Um, oh, so here in Australia, <laughs> a COVID update for Australia. <laughs> um, yeah, interesting turn of events. So we've just had Sydney's got community spread of COVID. Uh, Melbourne or Victoria's got a bit of community sp spread. And now Queensland looks like it's got community spread. So Western Australia has a tight border policy um, for people coming in. So they have, um, what is it? You, they give, you get your restriction where you can, if you're from certain states, you can come and visit Western Australia now without the requirement to quarantine unless there is community spread in your state so now we've just had Queensland has community spread so we've just had our border closed to Queensland so our borders have been closed to South sorry our borders have been closed to New South Wales Victoria and now Queensland and what they also did was anybody that arrived into Western Australia from Queensland from a certain date onwards had to go into 14 days quarantine um, yeah <clears throat> which has actually affected us at work because you know these we've got people that have flown in from other states and then they've had to go ah, no you can't go to work you have to quarantine so it's a bit hard at work very hard at work the what, what's happening um, it has affected even not just up on site it has affected us in Perth as well um, but with that happening my dad is in Queensland and he is up for surgery soon 
and the plan for me is to go across there. However, if surgery happens and the borders are still closed, I can still go across, which is something I do want to do. I can still go across, but on the when I come back, I will have to self-isolate. Yeah. <laughs> And it also means masks. So this is where it comes about from um, from the craft side of things. Is I ordered some masks from um, one of the diamond painting companies to so I can actually decorate the masks. So I can have some pretty little masks. If I if I go to Queensland, I have the mask. If we have a requirement for masks in WA, I'll have masks. Um, not the ones that I use for crafting I'll have um, slightly I like pretty ones uh, I can't see Nathan using them but <laughs> you never know um, yeah so I've got some masks on order I don't know how long they'll take before they get here um, but yeah we'll see what happens but they look like fun to do um, one of the things I've got to do is tissue box. I've got to get my tissue box done next. So when I've completed this row, I will get to and get the tissue box all completed and done. And I'll do that as a time lapse. Um, that tissue box is going to replace my old tissue, my old box that I use for my um, when I kit up. So yeah, that's something that to look forward to. Um, I do have to do the, not that I have to do, I do have the tarot cards. Oops, did I say that? Yeah, tarot cards, the Sophie and Toffee tarot cards to do. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, they put the smallest, smallest bottle of UV resin in to that box, which is where the disappointment was. There is not enough resin to use on the moulds. Yeah. Um, I will be, I need to use, for those tarot cards, I'll be using two-part epoxy resin, which they didn't supply at all in that box, so... Yeah, there's that's the letdown is they didn't supply enough resin to actually do what you need what you can do yeah um what else is going on mm. i need to get to and frame geisha i need to get her up and mounted and on the wall um so that's something that i want to try and get done this week as well um, so yeah, there's three things to get done. Oh, look at this. Drill stuck together. Um, what else going on? So, actually, pausing here for a sec. I was just having a quick look at my calendar to try and work out what was going on. Um, one of the things that I was going to do when I did the the resin work, I was going to do the live either today or Wednesday because I was supposed to do a collaboration day or a team day um, on Tuesday. That day has now been cancelled, so which is why I'm going to do the live on Tuesday, um, which should get to and schedule that um, when I finish this uh, whip and chat. Um, So yeah, I suppose I haven't done much. Didn't I stopped the vlog for a little bit? Um, more. Um, I looked at it and went, "Well, you're getting what you get for a period of time is just me going to work, coming home, going to work, going up, coming home." So, um, just looking at how I do that, whether I just do one 
for the whole block so one one blog for the whole block um, or something like that I just to do stuck together come on unstick okay that's better gotcha um, yeah just I know you guys like the the driving videos um, but I'll stick to I might do a couple when it comes to work um, but I think I might stick to more the driving videos when I where'd that one go gone um, yeah I'll stick to the most of the driving videos while I'm actually not at work so I can really um, take us some different places um, Nathan went camping <laughs> over the weekend yeah without me because I was at work doesn't matter um, I haven't seen him yet he went camping he left to go to camping while I was sleeping for night shift <laughs> on Friday yeah I think I think it was Friday I don't know my days run together when I do shift work at times um, he, but he went to he went away camping over the weekend you know I said goodbye to him before I went to bed and that was it uh, he's come home he came home yesterday but he left for work before I got home from work so um, yeah we, we pass each other at ships in the middle of the night basically um, most of the time when I come home I I see him I actually wave to him you know I'll, he'll be I'll be going that way and he'll come back this he'll be going this way and generally I wave to him um, yeah that didn't happen this morning <laughs> not even the wave yeah um, so what else oh my mum was going to come and stay here for a day and then go up to Geraldton then something's happened and she's not going up to Geraldton. She asked to sit, to stay here for the for the weekend. Um, I'm actually because I'm on day shift, um, and highly likely Nathan wouldn't be at work. I've just yeah. Um, my mum is now going to go because she's still going to come up and she's going to be here for a couple of days she's going to actually stay with my brother so um, or she's going to organise to stay with him <laughs> apparently he's in a good mood at the moment <laughs> whereas I'm not <laughs> oh, yeah um, what else there's not really much else going on. I've just seen Crashley's gone live, so I might finish this whip and chat and chill and drill and listen, jump into a live and say hello. Um, yeah. I'll just plot away with this one so that then I can get onto the tissue box. So this is a, just a short little whip and chat probably work out less than half an hour oh no that's all of those done yeah oops um what else is going on no there's other stuff Bo got bath the other day <laughs> oh poor Bo now one of the things that when I started getting Bo washed I did turn around and say to her he hates water oh no 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 he'll be fine and like she he won't accept treats from her when he's getting bath afterwards yep won't accept it before she's he's worked out who she is and what she does um so not the last time he got bath the time before he wouldn't come out the front door um because she she knocked on the front door he wasn't going to come out so i've had to drag him out and she's actually picked him up and carried him into the van um, however the last time which was last week it was she, 
she I saw her arrive before she knocked on the door so what normally does is she pulls up gets a power cord and plugs it into our meter box and while she was doing that I got Bo so I walked him outside he thought he was going somewhere and then we got five steps outside the door and he spotted the van and he knew he's just like he just stopped and he dropped his tail and it was like he was not happy he was not happy he didn't want to he didn't want to go any further um, I'd walked him onto the lawn and normally when you walk him onto the lawn he he's a sensitive little dog okay um, walked him onto the lawn normally he's quick to get off the lawn because he doesn't like the lawn he doesn't like walking on grass the only thing that grass is good for is kicking up and you're kicking up your heels in his opinion um, but yeah so he okay whoops okay um, just got a message so yeah, I walked him out, got him onto the lawn and he's just stopped. And I've had to turn around and say to her, I said, I've been saying he doesn't like water. He now knows what you're here for. And she's like, yeah, radio. So she's actually got to and picked him up again. It is really, I turned around and said, you know, the reason why I actually get somebody to come and bath him is because when we were in the last place we lived in um, we had a clothesline and we used to tie him to the base of the clothesline so that he wouldn't run and i was able to wash him and then if if i did if i actually let go of him at any stage he wasn't going to go far um but now that we don't i don't have that it was a case of we've just i've just it's easier to get somebody else into washing because he know he doesn't fit in our laundry trough he's too big for that so and i won't put him in the bath because we end up with dog hair everywhere uh, uh, now nah. um so yeah we he he, he 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 yeah so he got his bath last week and didn't like it as per usual um but yeah i think that's about it my oh my youngest boy is moving back home um he um so he will he's got the he gets the get he'll end up in the guest bedroom um my office area the study area he'll uh, take over that for his studies because he's doing uni um which is, you know, it's good that he's come home. He's come home to save money. So he started to uh, bring his stuff around. Um, you know, he's he's in a, a rental with his ex-girlfriend. You know, they split up and they stayed amicable. It's really amazing how they managed to do that. Um, but um, now she's got the lease all under her name. So, um, his turned around. They managed. They organised it for the lease under her name, and then once the lease was expired under the joint names, she took it out by herself. So that then now Dion's no longer on the lease, uh, which takes him away from the commitment of having to pay rent and all of that. Um, he is a good little saver in itself. He's so good at saving money. But when he moves into this place, he is going to be able to save so much more. Um, we have... Uh, they're stuck together too much. Um, we have solar panels, so our power bills are quite low. And then, you know, when it comes to it, there's not going to be that much in the way of him having to spend much um yeah so we'll see how that goes it also means that oh my 
goes by. It also means that when Nathan and I go away camping, uh, Dion is already here <laughs> to look after Bo. Um, normally we go camping and we get Dion to come and stay and look after Bo, but now he's going to be living here. It's going to be so much easier not to have to worry about that side of things, um, which is really good. Um, so yeah. Um, what else going on? Not much else. I think I think that covers everything. Ah, uh, oh, my grandbaby has one tooth. The last I heard, he has one tooth. <laughs> And crawling I do believe he is crawling now as well but um, yeah I think he's crawling kind of quite cool he's moving he is able to move around that's what it is not necessarily crawl but he's able to move himself around a little bit so that will be uh, the, 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 they're about to start finding out how much fun it is to have a little one that moves. <laughs> um, yeah. Love to go down there again soon. So we'll see what I can do, see what I can organise. But at the moment, it's all about when I have to go to Cairns first. Um, trying to see how we go about that. And yeah. How I go about self-isolating when I come back. Kick Nathan out of the bedroom and I've got the ensuite and then it's nice and easy. Um, go on there. So yeah, I'm going to leave that there. It's, this uh, whipping chat's gone for just over half an hour. Um, just a little bit of update on things. Um... I will be going through comments shortly. Um, I'm just going to be responding to comments now. Um, if I find something rather humorous, I might do go through that on a video. Um, but yeah, I need to start. I need to start responding to comments as soon as I see them, and not see them and then respond later. Because basically, I see your comments come in pretty well as soon as they get in. Um, so yeah I'm going to start actually responding to comments straight away and if there's any that really make me laugh and chuckle about I will um, share with you guys so that you can enjoy the chuckle as well um, but yeah we'll leave that one there and I will say Jen thank you for watching um, comment, like, subscribe, share all that jazz